Hey what's up guys, so yesterday I released a video on future Atomic Shop items only for more to be revealed after it was published. So in this video I'm going to go over the brand new data mine items found in yesterday's update which are far more interesting than the others with a wider variety of things soon to come. With that being said, let's get into it. Starting off with headgear, I know off the rip some of you are going to mention the fact that the ranger outfit and helmet are exclusive to Fallout First members, which is true, but there is a second variation of the helmet and outfit that will later be shown that may mean the Atomic Shop may be seeing it in the near future. Aside from that, a lot of the content in today's video will be a part of what seems to be a communism bundle coming soon, such as the beanie shown here. The two hats with the camouflage may have been previously released, if so, I apologize, but I can't remember and they aren't currently in the shop. We have a selection of eyewear coming, such as the 3D glasses, the scary googly eye looking glasses, and a pair of Mothman inspired glasses that also glow. There is also a glow in the dark variant of the skeleton mask and costume. Next up, we have a couple outfits here to show. Since there were multiple shots on the Ranger outfits, I'm not sure which is strictly exclusive to Fallout First members and which will be accessible in the shop for everyone in the near future. But as you can see, there are different variations with less and more armor added to them. Besides those, we have the Communist outfit to pair with the beanie previously mentioned, a Gladiator costume, and the Glow in the Dark skeleton costume. As for armor paints, we have what seems to be a Halloween pumpkin skin for the combat armor and a new camouflage color scheme that will be applicable to all armor types including marine armor and robot armor which I believe is a first, so I'll def have to get it for my marine armor setup. Looks pretty sick. A part of the upcoming communist bundle, we have a new power armor paint that converts your armor into this intimidating beast. Not at all lore friendly, but still pretty cool to look at so you might want to grab it on release. Two new backpacks have been revealed, one in the shape of a miniature coffin and one contributing to the communism theme that will be going on. That leather coffin looks interesting and based on the images I've seen it doesn't take too much space on the player's back. Might be worth it. Following up, a new Pip-Boy skin will also be available, which seems to be a part of the previously mentioned bundle. Three new player icons have been revealed if you're into those kind of cosmetics. I honestly don't change mine at all, but to each their own. Let's talk weapon skins. Looks like there will be a Halloween themed skin for the combat rifle or shotgun in orange as well as the 10mm pistol. We also see a pink Halloween color scheme for the assault rifle and minigun. I assume the skin for the super sledge is that of the blackbird skin due to the red and black and the horrifying new skin for the deaf tambo. But the most interesting thing here is what appears to be a Chinese assault rifle, similar to the handmade except with a few visual differences. I'm curious to know if this will be the weapon itself for purchase like the shock baton was or if it will be a skin that remodels the handmade to look like a Chinese assault rifle from Fallout 3. Only time will tell. We can also assume that that will be a part of the communism bundle. Moving on to our first camp items, here we have 4 new floor selections to choose from. Not going to lie, they're really nice to look at and I will most definitely be keeping an eye out for them. A great variety of wallpapers for our homes are also on the way and personally that communism one on the second row on the right looks awesome. Reminds me of the Obey posters you'd see in the city if any of you are Shepard Fairy fans and have a clue as to what I'm talking about but either way, very excited to see these. And last but not least a few camp decor items that are right around the corner. A Nuka Cola variant of the fridge, the Nuka Shine kegs to place around your camp, some Halloween decor to hold that candy for guests, a communist variant of the Collectron as well as two communist flags, some worn out card posters to place on your home's wall, and a Grim Reaper variant of the Scarecrow. Okay, well, that's officially all I have for this video. I hope nothing randomly comes up after this one publishes like the last one. Now that you've seen a lot more to come, what has you hyped? Anything you know you'll get for sure? Leave a comment down below as I always try to interact with you guys and hear your thoughts. This week has been a wild one for Fallout 76 with the announcement of Fallout 1st and the upcoming Halloween event so I'm sure you all have some thoughts. Feel free to vent with your fellow dwellers. If you found yourself enjoying the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content like this in the near future. And until next time guys, peace.